So you already saw an example of uh, a sum accumulator. And I'm just going to write another quick one. Uh, you know, I, I, I use this name a lot for sum. Notice I put an underscore right here. Sum itself is actually, uh, you know, this is a keyword in Python. So you don't want to name any variable sum, right? The sum of one, two, three is six. Uh, instead, you want, if you're going to use that name sum, and I, I like the name, uh, you know, do it like that, uh, sum underscore. So, uh, you know, uh, really simple. Um, in, in this case, I'm going to take the sum of values in a list. So we have some list, some num list, and uh, let's just fill this with random numbers. And let's say for num in num list, we're going to take the sum and we're going to, uh, you know, it's going to start with three, and uh, then we're going to add eight, then we're going to add five, then we're going to add eight, and at the end of all this, we're going to see the sum of all of these numbers, right? So this is our, this is our sigma right here uh, in calculus. You know, this is how you would structure that or how, how you might want to think about that. So that's 60, all these numbers add up to 60. Great, so that's, that's pretty straightforward. Um, what if we wanted to say, uh, instead of having a sum, let's have a product, right? So we're gonna see a couple things happen here. Uh, this is the kind of, you know, this is a, the, the kind of thing you're going to see when you get into writing the factorial function, things like that. So if we start with our product at zero, um, zero times anything is zero, right? So if you're going to do a product accumulator, which is really no, not that different from a sum accumulator, we're just using a uh, multi multiplying operation instead of an addition operation. Um, if we start at zero, zero times anything is zero, so we, we need to start at one, right? This is our identity. Um, so if I run this, we're going to see we have a product of zero. That's because we have a value in here that's zero in our num list. So let me get rid of that first. And yeah, the uh, we multiply all these numbers together. It's three well, whatever that number is, uh, 33 million, uh, 177,600. Great. Um, you know, we can think about this in a number of ways. Uh, you can take any operator right here. Let, let's try modulo. <laughs> let's see how that, how that does. Let's see what we get with that. One. Um, think about that. Think about why uh, this for loop gets us... Um, the result of one if we are constantly performing the modulo operation. 